What's up, Yeetlings? Back here at City Park. I decided I'm going to refilm my intro because what I initially intended to was completely defenestrated right out the window. Came out here, once again, picked some of these berries. Didn't get that many of them. But yeah, it turns out those are actually not blackberries, those are dewberries. They're pretty closely related to blackberries, but those grow in the spring. Blackberries are later in the summer. So I initially intended to come out here, find some beds, catch bass, but try with uh, glide baits. I didn't catch bass, but I caught something else. And I'm honestly surprised I was able to catch it on something like that. So, yeah, let's strap you in and we'll roll that beautiful bean footage. I am seeing some activity back here. Yeet. All right, let's hit him with the old razzle dazzle. Oh, I think that's a fish. Yeah, got one. Finally, yo. Oh, dude, that's a crap. Dude, that is a socolate, bro. Holy crap, dude. Socolate ate this bluegill? Dude, I've been looking all over for you in this park, bro. You believe that shit, bro? That is a nice socolay, man. This is my first city park socolay, and look what he hit. Look what he ate. Freaking little bluegill. I'm not keeping fish today, but damn, dude. All right. Too bad he's not a white crappie. This is a this is a black crappie. This is actually the Louisiana state fish. Um, this is actually my PB crappie, I guess. I don't have anything to, oh wait, yeah, I do. Let me measure him real quick. We'll let him, let him go. It's okay, partner, we'll let you back in the water real quick. I just want to measure you. Did I? Nope, I didn't bring anything to measure it with. Let's see, because I know this is about 15, we'll say it's about 12, 13-ish. All right, yeah, let's let him go. Uh, that was a surprise catch today. Well, <laughs> that was unexpected. I've been looking for the crappie back here for a long time. Yeet. I mean, I did bring my cooler, but it is full of those dewberries right now. So yeah, I'm gonna switch over to this little Rebel Craw crank, uh, crawfish crankbait that I found. Forgot to add that in the last video, but I'm gonna throw this on my finesse rod setup. This is an eight pound test mainline, eight pound mono. For some people have uh, success with eight pound mono fishing for socolate, but I'd rather do this on an ultralight with six pound, maybe four. I see a little wake right there, but he didn't come chasing after this. So I did not bring any socolate gear except for this, which is already in my cooler that I forgot about because I found this. 
I was fishing yesterday. All right, last cast of this, and then we'll switch back to that little bluegill imitation lure. Yeet! Here's another fish. This is, I think this is bass. Nope, another sockele, dude. Wow, okay, I got a new favorite sockele lure. <laughs> sockele number two. I got, holy crap, dude. I can't believe this. Another, another sockle, dude. Just let her go. Yeah, so far this is becoming an unusual day. I mean, I'm using a bluegill imitation lure, throwing it on a bait caster, looking for bass, and I'm getting sockle. I'm not looking for sockle, but I'll sit here and make a video catching sockle after sockle if this is what the day is going to turn into. There's another one. Okay, we got a sockle number three, bro. Dude, these are some big slab daddies. I guess maybe they're making a comeback, shit. Dude, this guy. That, dude, that's got to be like a 13-inch sockle right here. Because then they're like up. No, this is about, because right here, it's 15. So we'll measure that. Oh, we'll let him go. Yeah, it's a very unusual day. Look what I'm catching them on. I can't believe this is what it took to catch these guys. I've tried a bunch of times trying to find them around City Park. I'm not even using Sockley gear right now. Caught three of them on this, man. Like, I'm just, I'm confused. I think this is a dream. Yep, I am, I'm definitely bringing this rod and reel and picking up more of these baits for next time I go on a sockele adventure. So I'm, I'm mind blown right now. I mean, this you would think is too big for, for crappie to eat, but apparently that's what they want. All three of them, real good size. This goes against all Everything I know about fishing, I'm just, I'm, I'm blatantly confused right now. Let's see if we got any action out this way. No, dude, no, you gotta be shitting me. I have one more of those. Uh, 
Uh, all right, well, I lost that uh, glide bait. God rest his soul. Let's see if we can get on a jerk bait bite, maybe. Feeling adventurous today. Yeet. Got some. Got a fish. This is my first jerk bait fish. What is it? Sakale on a jerk bait. Dude, they got some friggin' slabs back here, dog. This one's bigger. This one's probably. This one's pushing like 14. Yeah. Jeez, dude. All right. Dude. I can't. <laughs> dude, that is a fat. I gotta get weight on this one, dude. One pound, seven and three quarter ounces. Dude, they got some big, big meat Larry Hoover Sokolay back here, man. Sokolay number four for the day. I had a feeling we could catch him on the dirt bait too, man. This has been a great day. Yeet.